Well, it really comes back to growth. Um, and growth is utterly essential, whether you're talking on the macro society, economy, environment, or indeed for individual companies. Uh, because there's no option. If you don't grow, you stand still, which means you go backwards. If you then look at individual companies, the function within those companies that is charged with identifying the source of future sustainable growth is marketing. It's the only customer-focused part of the business that is charged with that. So that's why it's, it's crucial. And that's why it's really quite ironic and quite paradoxical that there are so few, relatively speaking, uh, marketing directors sitting on company boards. So you've got to ask yourself, well, why has that happened? Uh, there's a whole host of reasons. I'll, I'll give you mine. Uh, I've got two particular hobby boards around it. Uh, one is that marketers seem to forget that there is a need to market internally, not just themselves, but also marketing and its role in the business. They apply these skill sets day after day, looking at consumer groups and prospects, etc. But they've got to accept that they need to market the role of marketing internally. Too often they are perceived as a director of spending. And they confirm this perception, particularly on the part of the CFO and often the CEO, by when they do have their moments of glory at the board, they just talk about their £2 million new ad and isn't it wonderful? So that kind of doesn't work. So the first thing they've got to do is change that conversation and actually talk about things of a strategic nature, a business strategic nature, to demonstrate they have the skill set to, to warrant a place at the table. The second concerns the rise of procurement over the last 10 to 15 years. Uh, there was a time, like when I was a marketing director, when that function did not exist. And that basically procurement function came within the marketing director's bailiwick. And as a result, there's a much fuller brief there. All too often these days, I see marketing directors copying out. I uh, use that term advisedly, and to me, it precisely describes what too many marketing directors do these days. They're very happy to preserve the nice, strategic, creative conversation with their agency counterparts, and then leave the bad stuff, the gritty stuff, the hard financial stuff, to the procurement guys who then come in. Now, that doesn't do anything addressing their, about addressing their perception in the eyes of the CFO and the CEO. And guess what? It just confirms the CFO's view of what the marketing director is about, director of spending. But there's another fundamental uh, risk with that approach too, and that is that if the procurement conversation has not been a balanced, sensible outcome, the agency can often find itself not being prepared to put the best talent onto the business. So who loses in the end? The client loses in the end. So the marketeer has to not claim back the ground from procurement, but take a joint responsibility with procurement and getting the right balanced outcome.